superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this weekly video, we will learn to spell words that compare. In phonics, we will learn about comparative endings and consonant trigraphs D, G, E. On Tuesday, we will continue learning about the story All Kinds of Musical Instrument. On Wednesday, we'll be learning about verb to be in the present tense. And on Thursday, we will learn how to draft an opinion writing paragraph. In spelling, we will learn to spell words that compare. So words that compare have ER ending or EST ending. And the spelling words for this week are faster, fastest, slow, and slower. Let's use them in sentences. My mom walks slowly than my sister. The ostrich is the fastest animal on two legs. The turtle is very slow. The train is faster than the horse. In phonics, we will learn about comparative endings. So ER ending can be added to an adjective to compare two things. Like, the dog is faster than the turtle. So dog and turtle, you're comparing two things. EST ending can be added to an adjective to compare three or more things. Like you have a bunny, you have a train, and you have a turtle. So you will say the train is the fastest. You have soft, softer to compare two things, and softest to compare three or more things. I graph D. G, E. Sometimes three letters make one sound like the letters D, G, E, as in itch and ledge. On Tuesday, we will read the story titled All Kinds of Musical Instruments. So all kinds of musical instrument, it's an informational, non-fiction story. And there are many different ways to play musical instruments. Some are played with a bow, some with sticks, and some with our hands. All kinds of musical instrument is a colorful introduction of a wide variety of instrument. Detailed photographs support students learning as they make connections to prior knowledge and practice the skill of classifying information. Now, the objective of this lesson is to connect the story to prior knowledge. We will learn to classify the information. We will learn to describe the information provided by photographs. The simple present tense form of verb to be depends on the subject, and it has different forms. With I, the correct form of verb to be is am. You are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. Again, we have to look at the subject. If the subject is singular, then the correct form of verb to be is, is. If the subject is plural, so the correct form of verb to be is are. Lena is the subject here, and we have one person, so we need to put is. Babies, we have more than one baby, so we need to put are. Opinion writing or Oreo opinion writing. Opinion. Tell your reader how you feel about the topic. The R stands for the reason. 
tell your reader why you feel this way about your topic. E. Give three specific examples to support your topic. The O is opinion, so you need to restate your opinion by telling your reader one more time how you feel about the topic. So parts of opinion writing, we start with a topic sentence. I think Reese's peanut butter cups are the best candy in the world. This candy is my favorite because I love chocolate. This is the first reason. Second, peanut butter and chocolate taste really good together. This is the second reason. The last reason or the third reason, lastly, they are the perfect size for you to carry in your pocket. Now, the closing sentence or restating the opinion again. That's why Reese's peanut butter cups are better than any other candy on the planet.